everyone here. Good. So let's just have a little moment to get settled. To really just land in this comfortable sitting position. The sense and feel the calmness of the Sunday morning, especially now, even more calm. And then hopefully, as many of you said, you have a great weather, sunshine. Just really landing into this sweet Sunday morning feeling. Somehow Sunday morning for me feels always very special to do a practice because it feels kind of the most relaxed moment of the week. When we are maybe allowing ourselves also to be more chilled and just take it more easy and have less pressure on ourselves. A really a great moment to, to connect to ourselves and to disconnect from anything that keeps us busy. And so today I would love to work a lot with the breath in many ways. And so let's just have our awareness going on to our breath. And when we say just feel your breath, try to really not get tense about the breath, but just really observe it, feel it. And then feel how the inhale comes in and then how the exhale goes out by natural flow. And then feel that softness that comes in with the breath. As you gently inhale without any pressure. And you slowly exhale without any pressure. And noticing how spacious or maybe a little bit filled your inner space feels. As you inhale, do you feel that you have a lot of space to receive that breath or does it feel like, well, actually not that much? And with the exhalation, just have this intention to create a little bit more space. Just letting go. Giving permission to your mind to only be busy with the past, nothing else in this moment. Just feeling the grass as it comes in and feeling it as it goes out. And in order to have our mind really getting more quiet, we can even use the counting, right? For every inhale, you can count, let's say four or five, depending on the length of your breath. And then for every exhalation, the same amount, or maybe adding even one more count for the exhale make it just a slightly longer.
And just let's say two more breaths, then go on with your counting. Maybe you notice that your breath is getting naturally longer. So then you can also just add counts to it. And now let's just have a long inhale throughout your nose and a full exhale throughout your mouth. And for a moment, we can just have our hands coming together in front of the height. And sensing and feeling your presence. Starting to work with the breath already initiates a flow of energy. And it's already starting to kind of unite together the, the body, the mind, our heart, and our spirit, right? The breath is always the binding agent. And so let's just chant three arms here together. So a long inhale. Oh. Oh. And so our breath is bringing us fresh energy, bringing us vitality, bringing us prana that is necessary for all the organs to live, but it's also able to carry all kinds of energies, right? We can breathe in love, we can breathe in peace, we can breathe in strength, courage, whatever we need, we can invite it through the breath and that's taking it in, but also activating from within as the breath and the oxygen kind of activates everything inside of ourselves. So if you want, you can set an intention for this practice. Is there any quality that you would love to invite through the breath or strengthen or awaken through the breath through our practice within for this morning and for this Sunday? May we become more connected and more alive, more awakened, more aware through this whole breathing session. So slowly from here, we can just have our hands coming all the way up above the head, above the crown, and then on the exhalation, slowly can take the hands down. And we're gonna slowly start to work with what we call the Ujjayi breath, breath of the ocean. It's a breath where we narrow a little bit the throat. I'm sure that most of you know this. So we creates a little audible sound, but nothing too forceful, right? So it needs to be a mild one. It shouldn't make you tense around the neck or the throat or and so on. So the way it sounds is like. So both on the inhale and both on the exhale, we have a little audible, more kind of like ocean wave sound, yeah? So we're gonna work with that today throughout the practice. But any moment you feel that it's too intense for you or makes you feel dizzy or whatsoever, then you can just come back to your natural breath. So let's try to find that breath here.
can from here, let's start to add some movement to this and still, if you can maintain the same breath. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then one more time, inhale. And exhale. And from here, slowly taking the arms behind you, you can interlace your hands and just have a nice long inhale, filling up the lungs completely. And then this time, exhale throughout your mouth. And slowly, let's just have our hands coming down onto the floor. And we can come down into a cat cow, into an all fours. Yeah, so having your hands underneath your shoulders, having your knees underneath your hips. Turn my mat slightly. And then from here, just a little movement still. If it's possible, stay with the ujjayi breath, so slightly audible. As we inhale, we lift up. As we exhale, we round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And slowly open the knees a little wider. Come and sit back onto the heel. And then inhale, open the right arm to the sky. And exhale, slowly coming back. Inhale, open the left arm. And then exhale, slowly back. Inhale, right. Exhaling back. Inhale. And exhale. And then here, slowly taking both arms up. Inhale. And swing your right arm underneath the left. Cross at the elbows and if possible at the wrist for a Garuda arms. And on an inhale, lift up. Feeling up the lungs and on the exhale, slowly round. Pressing the air out. Inhale, feeling up the lungs. And then exhale, slowly round. Pressing it all out one more time. And then gently all the air out. Rotate it through the mouth. Inhale, swing both arms up. And then from here, take your right hand down and stretch up and over with the left. And slowly come back. Inhale, right arm. And exhale, coming back. Inhale. Coming back, and inhale, and coming back. From here, slowly again, both arms up. And now swing your left arm under the right. Close at the elbows, close at the wrist. And on an inhale again, pull up the lungs, make it feel lighter, lift up. And then we exhale, press it all out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And for the last one, if you want, exhale through the mouth. And opening the arms, swing them all the way up, hands above the head, hands together, and gently coming down so you can come up into a dumb dog. So slowly, dumb dog, nicely walk it out. And then maybe giving yourself a little break from the ujjayi breaths, maybe continuing with your ujjayi breath. Long inhale and long exhale.
and creating a sense of lightness in our upper body. Sense and feel how it's almost like you open all your windows to get this beautiful, fresh spring breath in or breathe, right? And then moving as much as your body wants to move in order to really loosen up a little bit. And let's just have the last breath here. So long inhale. And then full exhale throughout your mouth. From here, slowly start to walk forward towards the top of the mat and let yourself hang here a little. And then full exhale through your mouth. Get your hands onto your shoulders for a moment and really let the whole upper body hang. If you need to, you can bend your knees slightly, but really let the arms hang, your elbows hang and feel the gentle stretch on the shoulder. And then from here, slowly open up to halfway and open your arms to the side, like opening our wing. And then on the exhale, slowly going down and just hug yourself again, hold onto your shoulders. Elbows are crossed. And then on an inhale, again, coming up halfway, opening the arms to the side. And then on the exhale, slowly coming down again, hug the other way around. Hugging your shoulders, let your elbows, your arms be heavy. One more time, slowly coming up. And then on the exhale, slowly coming down, hugging the shoulders. And then this time we are preparing ourselves. If you need to, you can bend your knees to come all the way up to standing with a big circle. So arms reaching up to the sky, and then slowly hands coming down to the head. And move a little further away so you see me. And then take your hands in front of the heart, just standing quiet and calm at the top of your mat. Having a breath here also, staying connected to that flow of energy through the inhale and through the exhale. Right, the inhale and the exhale are really teaching us this cycle of life, the beginning, the you know, middle point, the peak, and then the ending. There is a very, very rich teaching in our breath. How everything has its beginning and have its end. And the end just means another new beginning. So slowly have our hands coming onto the sacrum. And then inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, opening again the whole lung area, feeling how it's lightening up as you breathe into it. And then on the exhalation, slowly come down with a nice low spine. Have your hands coming down along the back of your legs. And then inhale, come up halfway, and then step back into a plank. Slowly lower yourself down. You can also place the knees down if it's difficult to just hover down. Inhale, rise for cobra. Lifting the heart of the chest. Again, have the awareness of the lung. And then exhale, slowly turn down. From here, back into the dog. And then I just have five deep breaths here. If your mind wanders away, you can still use the counting. You can count for the inhale like five breaths. You can count for the exhale equally five breaths. And we're staying in touch with the breath and nothing else right now. No distractions, just this present moment. The very last one. And then full exhale through your mouth. And from here, prepare to step or hop forward to the top of your mat. And then inhale, coming up halfway. Maybe your hands are on your shin. Lengthen the spine. On the exhale, slowly flow down. And then from here, inhale, rise up. Big circle all the way up, touching the sky. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Slowly take the hands behind you. We do one more round. Inhale, lift the heart, the chest. And then on the exhale, slowly come down, feeling the movement, sliding down along the back of the legs. 
Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, step or hop back into plank. And slowly lower down. Inviting lightness into our moves. Rise for cobra or upward dog. And then slowly back into Dhamma dog. You gently pressing away the floor with your hands. And as you breathe in and out, sense and feel a sense of lightness, softness, no force in the breath. If you're still continuing with the Ujjayi breath, then maybe you can sense and feel how the soothing sound of your own breath, which is really calming for the mind and helps your breath become more even and more deep. Last breath here. And then long and full exhale. Bending our knees, prepare to step or hop forward. On the inhale, coming up halfway. On the exhale, slowly flow down. And inhale, rise up, maybe bend the knees, both arms to the side, big circle as we come up. Reach the sky and then exhale, hands to the height. Last round, inhale, both arms up. And then slowly take them at the sacrum. Inhale, lift the heart, the chest, gently push your hips forward, shoulders back. And exhale, float down and sliding down. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, step or hold back to plank. Slowly lower down. Don't let the body become heavy. Inhale, rise to cobra or upward dog. And then exhale, back to down the dog. Drop your head, move your neck. Release. Any pressure and just really let the breath carry you through the poses. Feeling the inhale and releasing the exhale. Last breath here. And then all the air out. From here, bend your knees, prepare to look forward and step or hop forward. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, flow down. And bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, come up again. Big circle, opening your fingers. Touch the sky and then exhale, hands back to the height. Have a breath here. Just sense and feel your body, the flow of the breath. What is changing as you bring more awareness into the breath? And we will continue with the sun salutation breeze and then later on the modification of those. So slowly taking the arms down by your side, sit down low. On an inhale, come up into chair, lifting both arms up, keep the knees, the thighs together. Try to sit down to with your heels, body weight going down and back. Lift your heart, your chest and reach straight up with both arms. Exhale, slowly flow down. It's an asana. Inhale, coming up halfway. And then exhale, step back into plank. Again, from plank, taking an inhale here. And let your breath carry you down. Either knees down first, either just hovering, or maybe you land. And so cobra or upward dog to rise with. And then exhale back into the Dhamma dog. Have a breath here, a long inhale. And then exhale through your mouth. Let your feet come in closer towards each other. On an inhale, the right leg lifts. And then on the exhale, slowly take that foot forward between the hands. Turn your back foot out, back heel grounds, both hips square to the front. Rise up to warrior one. Rolling the right, the left hip forward, arms reaching up. It's not a back bend, so keep the belly in and up. And then find that spaciousness again in your chest. Taking a deep breath here. 
And then exhale through your mouth. With each exhale, creating more space for the next new beginning, hands to the ears. Stepping back, coming down to plank, to Chaturanga, either Cobra or Upper Dog. And then exhale back into Downward Dog. Also have a breath here, a long inhale. And then full exhale. Feet coming together. On your next inhale, lift your left leg up. Try to move mindfully so you feel the movement. And then exhale, take the foot forward between the hands. Take the back heel down, both hips square to the front. And then inhale, rise up to where you want. Keep rolling the right hip forward, back leg is engaged. And again, find the lightness in the chest, the radiance and lightness. Taking a deep breath here, and then exhale through your mouth. From here, slowly hands to the ears, and step back into plank. Lowering down, maybe the knees down first, rise to cobra or upward dog. And then pull back into the middle. Five deep breath here, long inhale and long exhale. At any time, feel free to go down into a child's pose. The downward dog is a bit heavy. And you feel like you need a little rest. And the last rest here, long inhale. And then all the air out. Bend your knees. You can have to step or hop forward to the top of your mat. On an inhale, come up halfway. Again, the hands can be on the shin, so fingertips on the floor. And exhale, slowly flow down. Sitting down low, bend your knees. And inhale, rise to chair. Lift the heart of the chest. And then exhale, hands back to standing. Having another breath here. Long inhale and long exhale. And we will continue from here with a little, little trick, a little variation. Yeah, so we're gonna go down into our chair again. So slowly sit down low. On an inhale, reach up with both arms. On the exhale, slowly taking the arms down. Let's stay upright with your chest. Inhale, rise up again. Open the lungs and exhale, slowly coming down. And then one more time, inhale. And then this time, taking your right leg high up and slowly cross it over the left. If you can, you can cross the foot behind the calf or just place it next to it. Try to have both hips squared to the front, coming down for eagle. And then inhale, reach with both arms up. And this time, swing your right arm under the left. Try to cross elbows and at the wrist. And then lift the chest up, right? Try to sit down, but also backwards with the hips and at the same time, lifting the heart, lifting the chest. On the inhale, rise a little higher. On the exhale, sit a little deeper. On the inhale, come up and this time lift your right leg and try to step way, way back behind you in a way that we come into this warrior leg position, right? So the heels are in one line, front knee is bent and back leg is straight. And then inhale, lift the heart and the chest, reaching up with elbows and shoulder. And on the exhale, slowly we can come down. Inhale, coming up again. Rise, and then on the exhale, slowly come down. And then one more time, inhale. And then slowly coming down, but only halfway. Just stay here halfway, press your back foot backward. Keep working with your core, keep pulling your left hip back and slowly slide a little closer with your back foot and see if you can lift your right leg up. Balancing here in one leg, keep pulling the elbows down and keep gazing forward, lifting the chest away from you. And from here, slowly step way, way back. This time, landing on the ball of the foot. So coming into high lunge 
And from here, just bring the arms all the way up. And then taking the arms behind. On an inhale, lift the heart, the chest. And then exhale through your mouth. And even nice, nice to do like a more audible sound if you want. No one hears you. <laughs> right? Really just let go. Let's do it one more time. Deep inhale. <sighs> and slowly from here, both hands down to the ground. And then take that left shin bone in and just land into a little pigeon. Take the back leg behind you. And on an inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. And then slowly come down. You can reach forward with the arms actively, or you can just land in a relaxed way. We have five deep breaths here. You're listening to the sound of your own breath. And the very last one, a long inhale. And then all the air out. Your hands coming underneath your shoulders. Slowly, gently lift your chest up. Opening the lungs again, and then tuck your back toes under and press yourself back into the downward dog. You can reach up with your left leg high, just stretch it, and then slowly take the foot down next to the right. Just walk it out a little bit. You can even sway with your hips from side to side. And then from here, opening our feet slightly wider, getting the heels towards each other. And then on an exhalation, dropping your hips down to the heels. On an inhale, coming forwards towards plank. On the exhale, going down to this hovering squat. Two more times, just slowly moving on the breath. And then prepare to step from hook forward at the end. And then inhale, coming up to halfway. On the exhale, flow down. And from here, bend your knees and come all the way up to chair with Katasana. Arms reaching up, knees are bent. And then on the exhale, slowly, arms coming down, upper body stays upright. Inhale, come up with a flow. Open and exhale, slowly flow down. Inhale again, move like Gentle breeze. And then with the last one, inhale. Slowly taking our left leg up. And then take that left leg over the right. So you can hook the foot behind the top or place it next to it. And from here, take your left arm under. And coming into eagle. Try to level the hips, try to lift the chest up. And taking a breath here, maybe you sit down a little deeper, pull the body weight backwards so you don't affect your knees. And then inhale gently up. And then on the exhale, slowly down. Inhale gently up, slowly free the left leg and step way, way back to this. Place your back heel down, coming into this warrior position where our hips are squared to the front. Bend the front knee. And then on an inhale, lift the heart of the chest. And then on the exhale, slowly come and dive deep into the hip opening. Inhale, rise. And then on the exhale, slowly coming down. As you come down, don't forget your back leg. Keep pushing the floor away with your back foot. One more time, inhale. And then exhale. And with the next inhale, we're going to come up halfway. And keep reaching forward, lengthen forward. 
Slowly slide closer with your back foot. And from here, lift your back leg up. Keep pulling the elbows down. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Take a breath here. Finding lightness and stability and focus. And then step way, way back with your toes, landing on the floor. The heel is in the air. Free the arms, inhale up. And then slowly from here, taking the arms behind, interlace your hands behind you. Take a deep breath, open the front side. And then exhale through the mouth, maybe with audible sound. Like, ah. And then one more time, inhale. And then all the air out. And from here, slowly hands to the ears. Bend your right knee, right shin bone in front of you. Landing down into pigeon. And then inhale, slowly lifting the height. Open the front side. On the exhale, gently coming down. Then reach forward with both arms. And place your forehead down to the floor. Get the calming from the earth. And again, the power of the exhale. With every exhale, just letting go a little bit more. And the very last one along the inhale. And all the air out. From here, hands underneath the shoulders, gently rise up again. Open the front side. And tuck the back toes under. Take your right leg high up to the sky. And then exhale slowly, take it down. And you can just walk it out. Then you can sway with the hips a little from side to side. And then from here, open the feet again a little bit outwards. Get your heels towards each other and sit back down towards the heels, hovering in this squat on an inhale, come forward to point, keep the belly hug been lifted. On the exhale, slowly back. Inhale, coming forward, hover there, one more. And then step or hop forward to the front. Open your feet wider. And then on the exhale, slowly come down to a squat. And this time, if you can, try to have both hands onto the floor. Really feel the earth underneath your body. If squat is too heavy for you, you can always sit on a block or do high squat, meaning standing and bending your knees. So have a moment to connect with the earth, feel the earth, draw energy up from the earth and give your energy to the earth. And then from here, slowly have your hands coming closer towards each other in the center in front of you. And we will do a little bit of twisting and squat. So on an inhale, open the right arm up. The left hand can be on the floor. And gently, you can push with your left arm, your thigh more open on the left side. On the exhale, slowly hand is coming down. Inhale, let's do the other, thigh, other side. Right hand pressing down, right arm gently pressing the right thigh away, left arm reaching up. And exhale slowly down. One more on each side. Inhale. And then exhale. And inhale. And then exhale. And for the last round, if you want, you can try to kind of pick the right arm up and bind it behind you. And see if you can maybe reach with the left arm around your shin and make that connection. If it's not possible, you can just grab your t-shirt or stay with the variation where we're just reaching up. 
you would have the bow, then try to lift your heart, lift your chest up more. On the exhale, slowly release. Let's do the other side. <clears throat> and then inhale, the left arm is stretching up. Take it behind you. And the right arm coming from the front, in front of your shin, and see if they can lead somewhere behind. Yeah, try to not let your left knee drop in, but lift the heart, lift the chest, easing up. And slowly release, both hands down onto the floor. Come up into Uttanasana and sway a little bit here. Release your head, your neck. And then an inhale coming up to halfway. On the exhale, step or hold back into plank. And slowly lower down. Rise for cobra or upward dog. On the exhale, back into the model. Have a breath here. Inhale the right leg lift. Exhale, take the right foot forward, between the hands. Now step a little closer with your back foot and turn the back foot slightly out. The heels can be kind of in one line. It's about a meter between the two feet. Have both hands coming at your waist. Try to roll the left foot forward. So both hips are square to the front. And then an inhale coming up is standing. And try to really roll the left foot forward. So both hips square to the front. And if you can, you could have the hands in prayer behind the shoulder, behind the heart, between the shoulder blades. Or if that's your hobby, you can just grab your elbows. Yes, so your choice. On an inhale, lifting the heart, lifting the chest, keep pulling your shoulders back. On the exhale, slowly imagine someone is holding your hips. So you're not moving with the hips, but you lengthen the spine and you're slowly going to come down into Parshmutanasana. You can always bend the front knee if it's necessary. Try to bring your forehead onto your shin and keep pulling the shoulders away from your ear. Stay here for two more breaths. And then slowly on an inhale, gently coming back up. Lifting the heart, the chest. And then from here, step forward with your left foot and step back with your right. So we do the same thing on the other side. Roll the right hip forward this time. About the meter distance between the feet. On an inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back. And then on the exhale, keep the belly in, slowly coming down with a long spine. And again, if you need to, you can bend your front knee a lot. Palm is breathing through the nose. Don't forget your back leg. Then to push the floor away with it. And then from here, slowly coming up again. Lift the right of her. And then turn to the side, to the right side. So quarter. From here, bring both arms up. And then open the feet a little wider. So you just turn around so you see me. Coming into high malasana. And then on the exhale, slowly coming down. On an inhale, open all the way up. And on the exhale, sit down just a little deeper. And then one more. And then exhale. This time, take your left. Um, so what, wait a second, I was here. Yeah, take your left hand onto your left eye. And then your right hand onto your left eye and push your left eye away so you can bring your left shoulder more in and you can gaze up. And then slowly on an inhale coming up, if you could draw the energy in, body floor it. And on the exhale, push your right eye away and try to gaze up. And then on an inhale again, come back to the center and then do it one more time on each side. You twice push the tag away and lift the chest up. And on an inhale, come back to the center and then do it for the right time, right last time. <laughs> Great. From here, slowly come back to the center 
have both hands landing on the floor and just sway a little bit from side to side. Release your arms and shoulders. Let yourself sway from hip to hip. And then slowly coming over to the front, so where we have the right foot. Again, bend the knee, coming down again to pigeon. Right shin bone is in front of you. Both hips square to the front. And then inhale, lifting the heart of the chest. An option to twist here. So how do we twist in pigeon? Two ways. So let's say we're here. And so you can either just take your left hand to the right side and raise back. Or if it's available, you can come down onto the elbow and have both hands coming together. And just gazing back above the right shoulder. Keep breathing all the way down to your center. Last three breaths here. And one more. And all the air out as you come back to the center. Again, with your forehead, you can touch the earth. And from here, slowly rise with an inhale. Open the front side again. Lean on your right hip and swing your back leg forward. Let's cross the left leg over the right so we can come into a Gomukhasana shoelace. From here on an inhale, both signs up. And then swing your right arm under. Is it right? No, your right arm is on top. Yes. The right arm is on top, left arm is under. If your left leg is on top. And again, if you want, you can pull your elbows down. You can do a little pulsation here. You can lift up. And then on the exhalation, you can pull down deeper. Or you can also just choose to be still. And then here, just having the breath. Or two, or three. and bringing our best awareness Feel the inhale and feel the exhale. So today we work a lot with the shoulders. Shoulders and neck are areas which are influencing our breathing and our ability to feel free and light. Last breath here. And full exhale through your mouth. And from here, just free the arms and then inhale, taking both arms all the way up. And then on the exhale, we take the hands down behind us. We can lean back and we can go into little windshield wipers. And so bringing one knee in, the other one out. And also lift the chest, little neutralizer between the two sides. And then from here, just take your left leg in front of you and swing the right leg back so we come into pigeon on the left side. Let your right leg go behind you. Try to have both hips even and square to the front. And then inhale, open the front side. And then on the exhale, we can explore the twist. So maybe you just walk with your hands, you gaze back above the left shoulder. Or if you can slightly go deeper, then maybe you place your elbow down into the floor, the right elbow, left hand is coming into the right side. And you gaze back above the shoulder from down here. If you're in hands, you just check it.
last breath here. And a nice relax here. Slowly come back to the center. On an inhale, rise up. Lean on that left hip and swing your right leg forward and across. So coming again into the shoelace gobukasana position with our legs. If both sitting bones are not on the floor, you can always extend the bottom leg forward. And then from here, taking both hands up on an inhale. And since we have the right leg on top, we're going to swing the right arm under. Cross again at the elbow and at the wrist. And if you want, you can do a little pulsation here on the inhale, the rise, the lift, and then on the exhalation. Um, or you can just also sit really calmly here in the present without the pulsation. Just a few breaths here. And it can be very helpful to have your focus, your inner gaze at one point of the body. Maybe it's your surdite, right? This point between the eyebrows, or maybe it's your nasal area. Last breath here, long inhale. And then full exhale through your mouth. Slowly on an inhale through the arms. And on the exhale, slowly hands behind you. You cross the legs and just breathe up a little bit with some movement. And then taking our feet down to the floor, we can roll onto our back and for a moment we can shake everything out. And then coming into a happy baby, right? So it can be with straight legs, it can be with just the bend knees, get your inner arches or get your thighs. Whatever is working for you, we're just really feeling the stretch in the arms as well. And still sensing and feeling that breath that comes and goes. Last three breaths here. And so slowly releasing your feet. And so we will have a few options here. Um, for the last pose, it can be any type of inversion that you want to practice. It can be a shoulder stand. It can be a supported shoulder stand. We're just maybe having the block underneath the sacrum. Um, it can be uh, a head stand if you want to go into that, right? So it could be something like this. Could be a bridge if you want that. Anywhere where the shoulders will be a little bit working, the upper body will be a little bit working. And at the same time, it's an inversion to really calm the system down. Yeah, so shoulder stands are great. If you do shoulder stand, try to really get your elbows close to your upper body to really be able to press them down. Can do halasana, also plow. Just 
Just a few more breaths, really taking in benefits of inversions. Last three breaths. Slowly, gently coming down, coming out of your pose. If you need a little kanji pose, maybe hugging the knees, you can do that. And then just giving yourself a little break on your back. Really sensing and feeling a complete letting go. Last breath here. And then from here, slowly hugging the knees into your chest, weigh a little bit from side to side, and then roll onto any side that is good for you. And then slowly coming up to sitting. And today, we will finish our practice with a little pranayama and then the shavasana. Yes, so let yourself a little time to lend here. And we will finish with Nadi Shodana, right? The alternate nostril breathing. That is a wonderful breath to clear our energy channels, but also to harmonize the feminine and the masculine energies inside of us. It can help to release any excess from the doing, doing the too much activity, but also any excess in the emotional side. So it's helpful to kind of balance the two hemispheres of the brain. So you can have your right hand coming up towards your forehead. You can place the second and third finger, the index and the middle finger on your forehead. And we will be using the right thumb to close the right nostril and then the ring finger to close the left nostril. And I love to start this on the left side. First, you need to, of course, check how are your nostrils. If you have any little snotiness, then obviously first you need to clean a little bit your nose. So then we're gonna close the right side first. So open the left side, ring finger is up. And on an inhale, we're taking the breath on the left side. Doesn't need to be long, doesn't need to be forceful, just keep it relaxed. Then close the left and then open the right side and exhale on the right. Stay here for the next inhale. We close the right, we go to the left, we exhale on the left. We stay here for the inhale. Close the left, and we go to the right, we exhale there. Stay here for the inhale. Close it, go to the left, we exhale. Stay here for the inhale. Close it and go to the right. A few more times in your own.
We started by inhaling on the left side, so that's where we're going to finish. Whenever you get to exhale on the left side, you can close the cycle. And then just have a few breaths here. And observe how is your breath now. And then from here, we will take our final Shavasana. So slowly find the resting position, unless you want to stay upright. If you want to meditate in stillness, and not lie down, that's also an option. And just relaxing your whole body and finding softness in the letting go. Just being in the present moment, open to whatever is arising. Breathing it with kindness, with softness.
and then we will finish this practice with a bit of chanting. So if you are lying on your back, you are very still, you start to move a little. So that you can join us in sitting. The mantra that we will chant is Soham. That is a very simple mantra. Is the meaning is I am. Yeah, so is I, Ham is M. So I am. It's a mantra to invite more of our own presence or a deeper connection to self or to clear anything that is, you know, covering our true self, our real presence. So we can, if you want to have the hands in front of the heart, you can have them in prayer position. And we're just going to chant it nine times together. Let's start with an OM, so long inhale. Oh. Chant it first and then you can join me. So hum. 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 Inhaling into that peaceful presence of us that is beyond the stories, beyond the waves, and the storms, and fluctuations. The one and only that is steady, that peaceful presence within, deep, deep within. And so asking for blessings for ourselves, for this day, for our needs, for our necessities, for our creativity, for our health, for our happiness. And then also asking for blessings for everyone else for the same thing. So you can imagine how golden light wraps the, her, the whole earth with a warm hug and with support and inspiration and creativity and house. Connecting back to the Awareness that whenever we do a practice for ourselves, it's never just for ourselves, as we're affecting in a positive way people around us. They might affect others. As we change, they change. Right? So we don't know the magnitude of the effect of our own practice. That we sometimes think it's selfish to take for us, but at the end of the day, it contributes to the better of all. Thank you so much for joining me this morning.